Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you know that from last few weeks I have been posting regular videos especially for option sellers and also I posted some live expiry date trading videos but there was some request from people asking for videos for option buyers so I decided today I will make one exclusive video for option buyers. So in this video I am going to discuss about a concept called gamma blast that means you have seen that some expiry days options which are trading very cheap like it may be trading around 5 rupees 10 rupees within no time it becomes 30 rupees 40 rupees 50 rupees especially in the late afternoon right sometimes it becomes four times five times sometimes it becomes even 10 times how it happens it happens because of the gamma blast that means because of the gamma movement suddenly that five rupees option can become 30 40 rupees in no time and which options to buy to catch this kind of move that all will be discussed in today's video before i go to my laptop and I discuss this strategy in a more clearer way few things you should remember and the first thing is that option trading is a zero sum game that means when option buyers makes money option sellers lose money when option sellers make money then option buyers lose money so it is like that it's a zero sum game that means if option buyers makes money that means option seller is losing if option seller is gaining that means option buyer is losing and the second thing is that being an option buyer you should know that when option sellers comes into the panic when option sellers become fearful and that is the place you have to enter being your option buyer third thing is that you heard about theta right theta is the time decay which is the big friend for option sellers because of the time decay option premium comes down and that is how option sellers make profit but there is another option greeks called option gamma which is against option seller which is enemy for option sellers but it's a friend for option buyers so being an option buyer you should know that when that gamma blast is coming and you have to enter at that right place to make big profit and that is what i'm going to discuss in this video so now let's go to my laptop and let us see what are those rules which i'm going to discuss so you can catch this kind of moves especially on expiry days okay guys before we see with the chart with few example let us see what are the rules involved rule number one for this strategy entry should be only after 2 30 okay second rule is market should not move more than one percent okay market should not move more than one percent in a day that means it should not be a trending day that means this may not work on trending day so sideways days fine zigzag days fine but it should not be big trending day so around 2 30 what should you do is go and watch the straddle chart straddle mean same strike call and put option for example nifty trading at 20,055 at around 2 30 okay 20,055 so what is the straddle chart straddle chart is 20,050 call and put option becomes your straddle chart okay at the money straddle so that i'll show you where to see straddle chart everything but just remember that okay once breakout happens on the straddle chart then you should go to spot chart and say on the upside chart is breaking out or on the downside if it is on the upside what you will buy you will buy call option if it is on the downside yeah what you will buy you will buy put option now you must have not understood when i said straddle chart breakout now let me show you an example see straddle mean at the money call and at the money put option okay suppose nifty is trading 20050 somebody sold straddle at 920 okay so market is staying sideways then what happens straddle chart when market is staying sideways straddle will keep coming down why ca coming down because of the theta decay right if market is not go go giving any momentum market is staying sideways then because of the theta decay option premium keep coming down right so this is what straddle chart looks like i show you that also on the chart but just remember so when i said you should enter on the breakout that mean that mean based on do theory if you don't know what is do theory you can do some google about what is do theory. when previous high previous swing high gets broken then this is a breakout right that is what when previous swing high gets broken then you should enter after 2 30 then what you have to do you go to spot chart look at the chart whether it is breaking out happening on the upside then buy a call option if it's breaking on the downside buy put option preferably at the money options okay because late afternoon if you go out of the money option and suddenly if it doesn't move 
then it becomes zero within few minutes that's why my advice is go for add the money call if it is going up or add the money put if it is going up. so that is what this rules all about now what we'll do we will go and check three expiries okay we'll check with the three expiry okay i said it should not have moved more than one percent right so what i said it should not have moved one percent right where is 230 candle 230 candle is this so what we'll do we'll see the low and high at 230 to know whether it is moved one percent or no right it should not have moved i said so this is the high and low between 230 and can you see how much percentage it moved it can it moved how much 0.44 right so that means less than half percent fin nifty move so that means this becomes a candidate for our gamma blast strategy so what we'll do i said we have to see the straddle chart at 230 right we have to see the straddle chart to see the straddle chart there is a software called i charts okay there is a software called i charts that is what i normally use it it can give you historical charts also if you want to know last 10 15 weeks back also you can see it to do the back testing so now first thing what we'll do we'll go and go to strategies we'll click on the straddle charts we clicked on the straddle chart first we'll click on historical then we'll change the symbol to fin nifty then which was the date date was 18 september what is the at the money at 2 30 pm at 2 30 pm at the money was 20448 so let us take 20450 right let us take 20450 and i said straddle mean same strike call and put side right date is which one 80 right so now what we'll do now we'll click on the show chart and we'll change the time we can change it to five minutes or one minute let us go for one minute okay we'll click on the show chart so what i said after 2 30 you should look for what you should look for a breakout right you should look for a breakout on the straddle chart when i mean what is the meaning of breakout breakout mean based on Dow theory right that means if previous swing high broken that means it's a breakout for example for, let us start from here this is a swing high right it was not broken because next swing high was lower than this right next swing high was lower than this there is no breakout right breakout means if from here it starts going up breaking the swing high then it's a breakout if previous swing highs was lower than this that means there is no breakout right this is lower than this this is lower than this this is lower than this now there is a break this is breakout why this is a breakout because you can see that this was the previous swing high then it made another small swing high then this from here it started making break so straddle chart will show you that it made a breakout around 255 right but how you will know breakout happened on the upside or downside you will not come to know on the straddle chart straddle chart will only show you that breakout happened on the straddle chart but you will not come to know whether breakout happened on the spot chart on the upside or downside then if without knowing how you will buy whether you have to buy a call option or a put option for that come to 255 to fin nifty and see what which side breakout which side breakout is happening you can see that breakout happening on the downside right breakout happening on the downside and it is looks like going down. So what you will do, you can go and buy 20,450 put option. Now what we'll do, we'll go and check the 20,450 only put option. Okay, now what I've done, I've gone to the option chart of 18 September, 20,450 put option, right? And you can see that 20,450 put option at 255, 255 in this candle, you can see that breakout is happening on the options chart so somewhere here you could have entered when it was trading around 15 16 rupees and you can see that it made a high of 15 rupees it made a high of 52 which is almost more than three times and then finally closed at 39 right i don't suggest you that go for four times five times if you get one raise to two also good enough that means you will enter here around say around 18 rupees and when it came to 36 37 already you made one risk to two risk right if you kept your stop loss below this candle somewhere here 
18 was your entry 11 11 was your stop loss and 36 37 you could have booked your profit even though it went almost till 52 and finally closed at 39 okay next we said we'll check another expiry that is thursday it was a nifty expiry what is the first rule i said rule is market should not have moved more than one percent by 230 right how much it moved from high to low on thursday till 230 it was 0.61 percent that means it is lesser than one percent then it is a candidate for gamma blast in the late after and what other thing i said other thing i said you will enter only after 230 so what is the 230 candle this is the 230 candle and what is the price it was trading around 230 to 20,082. so let us take it as a 20,050. so we'll go to i chart and we'll select 20,050 nifty on which is the date 14 september okay now you can see that i have plotted on my screen this is nifty 14 september 2050 straddle chart right both call and put option and date is 14 september so you can see that this is the straddle chart you can see that since market opened it made a small bounce and entire day straddle was falling right falling mean what who is making money falling mean sellers are making money right because of the theta decay it is falling and you can see that on the straddle chart around 230 breakout happened right because this previous low was getting broken so now what you will do at 230 so you will go to spot chart and you see that which side it is breaking you can see that it is breaking on the upside right market is upside so what you have to go do you have to go to call option and see 230 where it is trading now you can see that i have plotted nifty 20050 call option on my chart 14 september expiry day right around 230 you have seen that on the straddle started making breakout right so 230 mean at same time you can see that it was trading around 27 28 right somewhere here you have entered somewhere here you have entered and what is 1 raise to 2 1 raise to 2 is around 54 55 when it came to 54 55 already you have made 1 raise to 2 risk reward right finally it closed around 52 even this day also if you have shown patience to wait till 230 to see the breakout on the straddle chart and then you entered call option then you would have made profit again on 14 september also now what i said after that we'll see one more example that is 13 september expiry that was the bank nifty expiry and remember this is applicable only on expiry day not on any other day right so we'll go to bank nifty chart and we'll see 13 september now so this is the 13 september bank nifty chart what is 230 230 is somewhere here right what i said from opening till 230 it should not have moved how much more than one percent right let us see where is the low of the day low of the day is here where is the 230 candle 230 candle is here can you see how much it moved it moved 1.5 percent so this is not a candidate for gamma blast strategy why because it has moved more than one percent so you will not trade on such days for the gamma blast trade let us see on the straddle chart also here also you can see that around 230 it did not made a breakout it went near the previous swing high and again it came down again up again came down and finally by 330 it closed around 9 rupees right so there was no breakout at all on the straddle chart on 13 september so that's about this strategy guys i hope you have understood what i have explained if you are not understood then i i suggest you to again watch the video again and again because this is one of the unique strategy and can give you good risk reward trade if it works okay guys that's about this strategy about gamma blast strategy on expiry days especially for option buyers i hope you have liked this unique kind of strategy about how to capture big moves on expiry day for option buyers and the disclaimer here is that remember like any other strategy this strategy also not a holy grail strategy that every time every expiry it works that's why you have to always trade with stop loss so what i suggest you is that whatever i discussed on my laptop do some back testing on historical charts whenever there was an expiry how it moved and when you see same thing happening in the live market that gives you confidence to take the trade 
So that's why back testing is very important in trading. And if you are interested to learn more about this kind of option buying strategy, especially for scalpers, then you can check my new course, one minute scalping strategy in Nifty Bank Nifty, which I recently launched. Other than that, I have my webinar, which I normally conduct on weekends. That is 25 day trading strategy in Nifty Bank Nifty, which is both for option buyers and option sellers. And also I launched one more webinar that is mastering expiry date trading, especially for option sellers. If you are interested, you can contact me on WhatsApp or email and you can enroll for my upcoming webinar. So that's it guys about today's video. I'll see you soon with a new video. Until then, bye and take care.